Celeste at Oso Distillery in North Scottsdale. You know, the, the craft brewing has gotten so big, but so is like craft distilling, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. This is kind of like a hidden gem and shh, I'm going to take you inside and show you how it's all done. So it's right inside this room here. Oh, so we're in uh, North Scottsdale. This is Jeff. Good morning to you, Jeff. You have quite the uh, display here. Take us through the process. How one distills. Uh, well, we take start for our hashtag gin. We start right here uh, where we macerate our botanicals. Um, we macerate for a day and then um, uh, we strain it and take it through the distillation process and redistill it where we clean it up and then uh, collect it and proof and bottle. So we'll show the bottling process a little bit later, but let me show, this is really what it is. It's like a big tea bag, right? Is what you said? Yes, gin basket. A gin basket, that's yeah. more appropriate. Or like a nice strainer. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you, Jeff. Pretty cool, all this uh, equipment that you have here. And then, of course, Greg. Hey. You are kind of like the mad scientist here. I love it. Well, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, take you through the process here. Um, right over here, we uh, create our flavors. Um, working on a jalapeno vodka right now. That's going to be one of our new product lines. Uh, over here, we've made uh, peach bourbon. I have a grapefruit vodka. I have uh, horseradish vodka back there. Okay, is this the horseradish yeah, right here? Horseradish, this is the, yeah. Oh, and it's like specially bottled. It's at uh, <laughs> about 80% alcohol by volume. Holy so smokes. Hence the glasses. So here, the, it's green because it's, uh, it's obviously the jalapeno. Yes, uh, fresh macerated jalapeno, and then we'll be adding uh, dried jalapeno flakes to bring that heat back in to the vodka after we're done distilling it. So can you show us how it's done? Yeah. And take us through the process. Yeah, no problem. So bring it down into the heating bath. Uh, we turn on this vacuum and then take it down in pressure, which allows it to boil at a lower temperature. So let's go ahead and get it right about there. And what does that boiling at a lower temperature do for it? Um, it allows you to get quicker results at a much lower amount. So if, so if this recipe ends up not being very good, I didn't waste all my time and a full day and, and money on, oh, there it goes. Oh, oh. all right. Look at that. <laughs> You sound, you sound like you're Beautiful. surprised. Beautiful. No, no, no. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> well, I'll just redo it again. And so and you go, so that's you go through this process how many times in a typical day? Um, I can do this uh, eight times about in a day because uh, this only takes about an hour as opposed to our large distillation unit, which takes about the entire day. You know, and I want to let folks at home know you are an engineer yes. by uh, education. Yes, uh, chemical engineer, yeah. Yeah. And you were going to go into alternative energy and you thought, hey, this sounds even cooler. This, this is pretty fun. Yeah. All right, cool. Awesome. Thank you so much, you. Greg. Uh, we're going to bottle it up for you guys coming up in a little bit. The process here is so amazing. And shh, don't tell anybody because you're on the inside now. You are letting us inside. I love it. An engineering degree put to very good use. I think so. Yeah. Making some jalapeno spirits. What a fun career. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. A-Z-A-M. <laughs> no. <laughs> Celeste, at a place that you like. You see, they've Oso. got a couple locations. Yeah, they do. Right? Good food, too. Great food at Oso. I didn't realize. <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> you are rocking that You look. and the goggles. Hey, let me ask you this. Is, I got to tell you. Is this the only location that does the distilling? Because they've got several locations, right? Right. They've got three locations okay. in the valley, two brewer breweries, mm -hmm. and this is the distillery. Okay. Uh, take a look at Greg. He's kind of working through some of this stuff. This is kind of like, you know, we're in the middle of it. We're in the middle of an experimental process here. This is serious business. So, Greg, tell me, what's coming out of here? So we got some gin coming out of there today. Uh, we do about three of these batches a week, and uh, we, uh, after we're done collecting it, we add some water to it, proof it down and then we take it over to our bottling unit. And it comes in through some of these as well, yeah, right? Yeah, we just store those under there until we're, until we're ready to, um, to bottle with them, to send them to processing. All right, let's go take a look at the bottling process. Thanks, Greg. All right, look at this guy. Look at They already got it ready oh. for you. Well, yeah, they got ready for me. All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and, and start bottling some of this process. Take your bottle. Okay, and I just... That's it. And that's it. And then when it's ready, give it a little quality control check. Now, do you do every single bottle? Yes. 
Uh, Greg and I both, uh, and sometimes Eddie and, and Kale will help us bottle out. Yeah. We do about 450 bottles a day sometimes. Impressive process. Yes, it's long, but it's fun. Yes, <laughs> partners, partners, yes, in this very unique process. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, great hanging with the boys here this morning. What's this? this is Would you bring me, Eddie? Arcadia. Oh, so Arcadia, all right. You're going to pour some of this for us? Oh, oh yeah. That. That. Take a look at that, that guys. A little right bit there, of the, right? Yeah, the ice floating in there. What's that stuff floating in there? Is that mm. spice? Some muddled something. No, look Go it. ahead. Go ahead. You uh, can have a sip. Nobody's does it smell good? Get mad. Delicious. Uh. Safely off camera. Fantastic. Sip. Good for her.